Well, good morning, guys. Um, out here in the shop, early Wednesday morning, which if you haven't noticed, I've been trying to get videos out at least every Wednesday, and that's been my goal recently. Um, this, this video is not uh, an enjoyable one for me, but Anyway, I guess this is, I'm gonna start calling this shop talk or whatever, cause we're out in the shop today. Sit next to my Mercury 25 two stroke. That's on my little 14 foot skiff. And I was doing some preventative maintenance uh, earlier in the week, this week at this weekend. And uh, I don't know, it usually, it bites me in the butt a lot. Um, this this time because this is a new to me motor i mean i've only had it for about a year now so there this is a 2001 so there's you know 19 years of history that i don't really know um i don't know you know if it was taken care of properly before that um if when it was disassembled if thing you know proper things were used to make it easy to disassemble um and obviously I know now some of it was not there because I was um, trying to check and possibly change the thermostat, which is, I'll show you what I'm looking at here. All right, so this has the um, cover plate on. These are the water jackets that go around the cylinder to help cool the engine. And the thermostat is held up here um, by another a small little plastic cover that goes on the outside of the cover plate. And it's held on by these two bolt, you know, in the where bolts go into these two holes here. Well, I go to take off the thermostat, bolts are froze. Unfortunately, this is a common thing in motors that see a little bit of salt or a lot of salt water, um, and you have a stainless steel bolt going into an aluminum head um <laughs> tried but i ended up snapping off both the bolts which meant i had to drill them out and then i had but i had the cover plate still on here because there was five other bolts that were holding the cover plate on and uh Event, after I tried for about a day to get this one out with the cover plate on because I didn't want because I knew if these were such a pain the other ones were possibly going to be a pain too but I decided okay well I need to try to get the cover plate off so I can actually get to them better and not tear up the threads or the head even more so went to take the cover plate off and I got three of the bolts out on the cover plate but ended up breaking off two more um, and one being this one that I just got out yesterday. Um, and then uh, the kicker is this one down here in the corner. Um, the problem with this now um, is it's looking like I'm going to have to remove the head to get to this bolt to drill it out because I don't have any room because of the bottom cowl here. Um, which, there's six bolts underneath here that hold the, the power head on. Um, however, at, at this point, anytime I'm taking this motor more apart, there's a chance that more of it's gonna break. And, the whole kicker is like, um, I was doing this service because we're planning on going on a trip, planning on using the boat pretty much every day um, for a lot, uh, a lot of fishing. And now I've got, okay, I gotta pull the power head off and get gaskets and then shipping's crazy right now with all this other stuff going on in the world. Um, so it's not very dependable as far as like getting parts on time and the way it's looking right now, it may be a miracle that I get this thing back together to where I can go out and try it out and be confident that, you know, we're a okay for the whole, you know, entirety of the trip to take this thing out. 
um, and also not break anything else while I take it apart. So my goes back to the old saying, the thermostat worked that was in there. Granted, it was old and decrepit once I finally got it out, but I guess if it, if it isn't broke, don't fix it. That's definitely applicable here. Um, and I'm also going to, cause I was like in my head, oh yeah, I'll do most of my service. Cause I, both, I, mean, I did the lower unit oil, grease the prop shaft, change the spark plugs, um, and you know, greased all the grease fittings, all this other stuff for annual service. Um, I was just like, okay, I'll do that before, you know, we use it a lot. And now I'm going to be moving it to the winter time because don't really take a lot of trips in the winter time. And if something like this happens, I've got ample time to be, you know, patient and take my time and get it done. Um, before we really need it. Now it's like crunch time, like, oh my gosh, are we gonna have a boat to use? Granted, there is, um, there is, I already have a plan if something happens and I can't get this back together in time. So let's go with that plan. All right, so you can see the 25 way back there, but if I can't get that one together, the backup plan is this one right here. This one's on my little smaller 12 foot skiff. Um, but this is only a 7.5 horsepower to 1973, old reliable, been in the family longer than I have. Um, and I just did service on it the same day that I was trying to do service on the 25. Um, and it's a-okay. So I can't get the 25 back together. I'm gonna throw the 75 on the back of the boat. We're definitely, plans are gonna change. We're not gonna be going uh, as far as I wanted to go and explore the places I want to explore, but this one will at least let us putt around and not, and with the trolling motor on top of the boat, we should still be able to get some decent fishing in. I'm not sure what kind of performance we're gonna expect, but if that is the case, I'm definitely gonna put this on the back of the boat and take it out before we go on our trip. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to give you all a little update because I had plans for, to make a pretty good video this weekend after I got all this boat stuff done um, to upload on Wednesday and, and try to you know keep that going. And it's not the video I wanted to make, but it's a video of like, this is what's going on right now. Um, super stressful, still working and trying to deal with this at the same time. Um, it's been a lot of late nights, sleepless nights because I don't like it being like that. I want it back together. I want it working the way it was. So anyway, guys, I'll be back. Hopefully some more positive news, um, and maybe a, a, a better uplifting video, but this one's just like, <sighs> This is life right now.